Hey, what's up travelers? Welcome back to No Man's Sky. We have some big news coming our way from another development update. It's development update number 10 and I believe it's updating right now. I'm not really sure if it has been deployed yet, but I'm seeing my game updating. I hope it's that. Nonetheless, this announcement is fresh. It has been posted on the official No Man's Sky website like mere hours ago and we're going to go over all of the changes that are being implemented in the game. There's a lot of cool stuff in there, some of which which you will most definitely enjoy but nonetheless the message pretty much begins with a hello from hello games it's already been a very busy month for us today we are releasing a new update for no man's sky which includes a new community research mission more customizable flora for your base a terrarium a striking new gek inspired helmet and a number of minor gameplay fixes and improvements more on that below and of course we also have like a small message regarding the last campfire which seems to be like a new game created by them there's no platform announced yet but I've checked it out a little bit and it looks pretty sweet you can add it in your wish list on Steam right now and honestly it kind of reminds me a little bit of journey at least this pick over here and the character definitely reminds me a little bit of journey not sure why maybe that is the purpose but it looks quite sweet nonetheless let's get back to the update itself and the community research update is also going on and it pretty much reads Earlier this month, many thousands of specialist Polo's friends worked together across multiple realities to contribute floral discoveries to a mass data pool. Biological information about alien plants was funneled into the space anomaly and ultimately into the Quicksilver synthesis bot where the data was processed into generating additional items to reward dedicated researchers. While Polo has concluded their current investigation into the changes rippling through the universe, this boundary defying data has had another unexpected result. Polo's synthesis companion inhabiting the back room of the space anomaly has autonomously tapped into the broadcast system independently of their GAC master. They are reaching out for explorers to carry on expanding the anomaly's data banks with a new research data with a variety of means. Participants may choose to collect rare materials, explore the universe or eliminate threats and that actually sounds quite interesting. I'm going to have to check that one out but definitely sounds interesting. As before universal progress may be tracked from the Galactic Atlas website and submitted data will power synthesis of further collectible items and we also have like this awesome screenshot here though it doesn't look like anything that we haven't seen before but what's most important is the new tier of items and there's like a couple of tiers of items that you are most probably going to like. We have these plants over here obviously you can add them on your base. We have the large leafed salt palm native to hot climates and naturally impervious to intense sunlight. Then we have the slender globe tree so named for its spherical reservoir root bulb. And then we have the rock garden that features a neat arrangement of flora and minerals both luminous and matte. But the biggest thing about this new update is something that many of us have requested for a goddamn long time and that is our own quote unquote quote the zoos and guess what hello games just added in the game a freaking terrarium which is like kind of close to a zoo but it looks so freaking cool you can even see it here in this footage like there's some small blob thingy jumping around it looks pretty cute and you can add this on your base it looks freaking awesome i hope there's more of this because it looks simply spectacular and you know we wanted some zoo on our planets and on our bases to put them on display and like capture animals to show people of our journeys but nonetheless the terrarium is a small observatory unit designed to house a small alien specimen for study and companionship specimen is included with domicile to avoid undesirable specimen to specimen interactions a limit of one terrarium per base is recommended I'm not really sure if that is an in-game limitation or a wink wink from hello games to actually put them on display and see if the creatures can fight I'm going to have 
have to like test that one in game, though I am most tempted to believe that this is just a limitation of the game. Nonetheless, so far so good and I'm liking it so much. We also have the tier 3 helmet which looks exactly like a Gex head, except if that Gex was Tony Stark and he just put on his iron uh, Gex suit on himself. It looks quite sweet and if you like want a Gex slash anomaly combination, this is most probably the best choice you can get. It looks freaking awesome. Those eyes over there and the beak is definitely freaking sweet. Also the horns, I like them a lot. and. I am really liking the design choices so far, but the helmet of the first spawn is what it's called, it's inspired in form by the war helmets of ancient Gek, tends a battle hardened appearance to anomaly explorers, and as always, you're always going to have like the anomaly explorers always getting these skins. We also have some uh, community fan art, which I really like, but development update number 10 also comes in with patch 1.77, which has its own notes, over which we'll go in just a second, but it reads, patch notes for update 1.77 are below with these fixes releasing for all platforms today. Thanks for reading all these updates, we hope you've been enjoying the increased communication and update frequency over the past 6 months, and we definitely did, we most definitely did so. There is still so much more to come in the new year with a large portion of our team working towards further major updates for No Man's Sky, we look forward to seeing you out there, thank you so much. Sean Murray and I am enjoying this so much it means that there's going to be a lot more bigger updates in the future over which I'm excited about but the fixes including with the new development update are as follows. Fixed an issue where a big ball would get stuck in the refiner output and the small clarification any previously broken refiners will now be clear. Fixed an issue where all crystals would be called unknown. Fixed an issue where the tutorial missions would not advance if the player collected a hermetic seal too early, fixed an issue where the mission flow would halt when instructed to build a base for Apollo's contact if the base already had an overseer but no large scale rooms, fixed some crash issues in Exocraft races, fixed hang issues when accessing a mission dialogue at the same time as the mission deadline, fixed a hang issue when accessing the starship communicator at the same time as exiting the cockpit, fixed an issue where ancient ruins and crashed freighters could sometimes spawn floating above the surface of the planet, adjusted the health of corrupted sentinels to make them more tough than regular sentinels, thank you, finally this is a change, fixed an issue where the advanced mining laser was not required to mine advanced substances, fixed an issue where killing another player with melee attacks would result in an incorrect chat message, that is actually strange, addressed a number of photosensitivity issues around the portal and the enter-exit ship effects, fixed an issue where the terrain manipulator Bean would not render on multi-tools with one pre-installed at purchased, fixed an issue where resource names could appear multiple times on the planetary readout from space, fixed an issue with collisions on some medium-sized rocks, fixed an issue with the pocket reality generator not being buildable indoors, and finally disable the analysis visor while on ladders. Okay, so with that being said and done, I'm going to check a few things in game that I'm mostly interested about and uh, I'm specifically referring to this community research, the week, I'm not really sure what week this is, probably week 10, but but uh, yeah, it's reset to zero and we're going to go ahead and check it out. There's also like 27 days remaining, which means that for the rest of 2018, this is what we're going to do. Well, of course, outside of the Christmas and the New Year's Eve, but uh, this is most probably going to be this year's last update for No Man's Sky. I don't think there's going to be anything else. And yeah, Language Unit Online, Intelligence Protocol Initialized, Traveler, Friend of Master Polo, not Nonetheless, there's a few things I can go with here and I think I'm going to go with exploration. I've tested out destruction and it kind of like required me to destroy some uh, alien enemy flora but it was really difficult for me to find some even though I kind of see it all the place but now it didn't spawn for me so I went with the exploration. So let's see what exploration does for me. Discover new worlds. That is basically that is basically it. Land your starship on unmet planets to claim them as new discoveries. That is actually quite simple. Yep, we are pretty much done, I believe. I can now broadcast the request of explorers, blah blah. Basically, I can go in space now. And it should be all done. Let's see. Make contact with the space anomaly. That should be nice. Yeah, there you go. 
contacting the robot thingy. Greetings, I am pleased to see you save return traveler. Did you successfully collect requested data? Yes, I did, sir. And what did I get? 250 Quicksilver, that is not really that bad. That is actually quite okay. So let's see what Mr. Synthesis Bot has for me. Create exotics from Quicksilver. So the first spawn, a battle mask, the terrarium, then we have these three small things. Anyway, unfortunately I cannot buy these yet, but these are the items. You cannot buy them because it hasn't been unlocked yet, but it looks exactly how it is in the post itself. Hopefully we get to unlock these tiers soon because I really want to test things out, especially the terrarium, and uh, it is gonna take some time for us to unlock, especially the season event. Man, this is gonna be painful to unlock because it's going to take a long time for people to get in the online play, do the missions, now that it's the holiday season and that is basically it ladies and gentlemen all of this looks freaking sweet as hell i cannot wait to play the game and see exactly how these changes are and again if you guys are excited about this as much as i am go ahead and leave a thumbs up on this video also subscribe to the channel for more awesome content and i will see you guys in the next one so peace out